this is a lesson taken from my school community about MCPs inside Claude Code. It's just a list of MCPs that I really, really like to use. So the Superbase MCP, if you don't want to have to deal with databases, PSQL or SQLite, you just want to have a production ready database without really understanding databases. This is number one. Just like the Superbase MCP, if you do not like messing around with AWS, DigitalOcean MCP will just do all of that for you. Again, you can now do these things without fully understanding them. The Shopify Dev MCP, what it does, and there are plenty of MCPs like this, but it actually gives your LLMs direct access to an LLM like controlled documentation. So you can send natural language requests to the Shopify documentation and it will give you GraphQL requests or like the exact structure of how to write the request for the thing that you're trying to do. Puppeteer, this thing is absolutely crazy if you're doing UI UX. The final one is Uptash. If you need some kind of scheduling or like X happens at Y time, Uptash is your best friend. Now there's two more things to mention here. Inside Claude Code, not as MCPs, but inside your WSL or Mac or whatever you're working on, you should also give access to GitHub and also give access to Docker or like tell Claude Code to set it up so it can run GitHub commands and it can run Docker commands. This entire stack here means effectively that you can code entire production ready, almost production ready without security. So let's just take this one here as an example. Claude Code MCP add, that's literally all you do. So I go inside my terminal and I run WSL-D Ubuntu and then I run this and then the MCP is added. It's literally that simple and that easy. 